All right, so just looking at this engine, it's a Chrysler 300C 5.7 Hemi with a lot of wrong accessories. Not exactly wrong, I guess, on a couple of them, but right off the bat, I see AC compressor is going to have to get chopped right here along that line. You can tell it's that line because on the other side, you can see where it kind of divots in right there so i'll cut right here across there and then down sorry for shaky video down and across here on the bottom even with it and just grind it down and get a shorter bolt which is on the build and materials list which i can share below if you need i'll put it in the uh comments section Obviously, the AC lines are going to have to change. This one does not come with a power steering pump. By the way, it's 2013 Chrysler 300C that came with this. So I will have to find a power steering pump. So probably PSC is going to go there with the idler put pulley. Up next, for what I see wrong, is the alternator. So the alternator is not bolted into these two bolt holes. It's the one with this bolt which same concept I believe I'll have to look at the videos sorry there's a truck driving by that is the squeakiest GMC I've ever heard anyhow you'll have to cut down right here same concept shorter bolt bolts into there that way this right here claim uh, will clear the frame rail everything else on it looks good though it's got the short accessory drive so that's good um i do believe correct me if i'm wrong that these manifolds don't work i'll go to the other side obviously now the wiring harness stays but that looks like it comes out way too far on the block from what the jeep speed shoppings recommend it has good oil in it got the right intake so you want to see this intake on, a, on an LX or a car because you can just simply loosen this flip this around and there you go there you have an intake because that'll work with the snorkel assuming I even want to run it I don't know yet we'll see a lot of work to do a lot of work to do and good news is for me I can sell the computer and this transmission because that's a two-wheel drive transmission you can tell because there's no transfer case adapter but big 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 important thing that i saved 600 dollars on is the torque converter and the bell housing and no mds so at least i think if i'm wrong about that please correct me but everything else i'm fairly certain i got this for a freaking steal Guess below what you think I paid for this engine and transmission. It does have over 100,000 miles on it. So, there is that. But, progress report on the Jeep. I have all the wiring. Taken off the sides of the engine. I was taping it up yesterday, but then it started to rain. I have, I don't know if this power steering pump will work with the new engine, but I got to look at it and see. I don't think so, because I don't think it would clear that, because it'll be right about here where this head is, but we'll see. There's a lot of we'll sees involved. Left on the engine to get it removed is just going to be removing the fuel rails, and the intake's already off, so if you need a 3.6 intake, that's for sale, along with the rip coil packs and anything else related to this 3.6. But that's enough from under there. Now, below the Jeep, I still have a lot to go. I don't know if I want to remove the transmission and the engine at the same time, but I think I will. We shall see. But I'm going to have to, today, the goal is to get the transfer case dismounted onto the ground along with the rear drive shaft into the Jeep. 
Uh, just put it in the back seat. Drop the cross members and support the transmission. Then make the decision if I want to remove all of it or not. Another thing that's going to be for sale is going to be these uh, the exhaust for the 3.6. Oh, big thing. I got to release that uh, terrible Chrysler made Chinese plastic, probably, uh, clip for the fuel tank. And then I probably need to siphon all the fuel out of there because I have the EVAP code that comes with a broken fuel tank. Um, if you guys have any questions or if you want to call me a dingus, tell me I'm wasting my money, do so in the comments. Thanks. Sit wrap out.